morning there, guys. Captain Greg on the Aztec. Fun fishing here so far this morning. Look at this thing's boiling around like crazy. We got four or five going. We just got stopped. 30 to 40 pound bluefin. We're fishing 25 pound number two circle hooks. Catch you next time. Hey everybody, Phil Friedman here from Friedman Adventures, and I've got great news for you. Pat Whitaker and the Manana will be east of Avalon at Catalina Island, down there on the east end, selling live bait this weekend. This weekend, Pat Whitaker on the Manana. You see his phone number. You see that you can call him on Channel 11. Mention Friedman Adventures, and you'll get a discount, and you'll have all your bait needs taken care of at Catalina Island. This is just fantastic. Live bait, Catalina Island, for you private boaters. Make sure you visit Pat this weekend. Hey, good morning, my dear friends, and welcome to beautiful Surfside, California. I'm telling you, it couldn't be any more lovely and pristine. It's gorgeous. The sun is warming my face. The ocean looks so beautiful. And sport fishing in Southern California and Northern Baja is absolutely fantastic right now. We're going to tell you about some great bluefin tuna fishing and more yellowfin tuna fishing moving up the Baja Peninsula and pushing into San Diego and L.A. Orange County waters. It's really good. And you've seen nothing yet. There's going to be so much yellowfin tuna crawling all over this place this summer and into the fall. And how do we know that? Because we are keeping in contact with commercial lift pole boats. Those are the guys that lift the tuna on board. Commercial guys down around the Uncle Sam Bank, several hundred miles into Mexico. And that fish, that yellowfin tuna stretches from there all the way up to San Clemente Island and beyond, and it's going to continue to bite, and it's going to get better as the water warms up. We're still in this cool water, and things still are looking absolutely magnificent. We'll go up to the Channel Islands, check on that. Albacore in San Francisco, can you believe that? And there is so much more to talk about. Good morning, everybody. You know what time it is. It is time for the Morning Briefing. Oh my God, is that good? And it is so good to be spending time with you all. The sun is shining. It's not an overcast day. And it is absolutely gorgeous down here today. And we've got all kinds of great stuff to share with you. Hey, if you don't mind, hit that like button. That really helps us a lot. Share these videos. There's a share button right down below. You can hit share and then Share this with someone you know that loves sport fishing or you want to get involved in this great sport. Also, subscribe to the channel. Subscriptions are going up through the roof. And tick that little bell and you'll be notified when there's new content. And there's new content here on the Freeman Adventures YouTube channel all the time. Of course, we're also on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and you can catch us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Really a lot of fun doing this and I really thank you a lot for being with us. Hey, we opened up. There's going to be bait at Catalina Island this weekend. As we mentioned to you, don't forget that. My friend Pat Whitaker on the boat Manana will be east of Avalon over there at Catalina Island. Call Pat. You can go back, get his phone number. Uh, you can either call Pat or you can also catch him on Channel 11. Here's the number. 541 291 one three four seven for those of you on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Don't forget August the fifteenth. We're on the horizon for a day and a half trip. I'll be there to film it, and I think there's a few spots left open. You can get on board that by texting Captain Bill Wilkerson six one nine nine eight five five one seven nine. Folks, I got to tell you. It is absolutely gorgeous here today, and there is some conking going on. Let's get into it right now with you all. Great guy, big part of the Freeman Adventures family, Andrew Nguyen, and he was on board the San Diego yesterday, and he said, Bill, it was as good 
as you could possibly imagine. He said, we always had fish going. The evidence of life everywhere, fish out of the water, fish boiling, birds. It was so exciting, described Andrew. And they ended up on the San Diego, a boat that leaves in the morning, comes back later that day out of Sea Forest Sport Fishing in San Diego, 50 yellowfin tuna, limits of bluefin tuna. Andrew said most of the fish in the 20 to 40 pound class, but there's some bigger ones lurking. He said by far the best way to get a bite was fishing 30 to 40 pound fluorocarbon with a number two hook. You heard Captain Greg Guywood saying that in the beginning on the Aztec, but Andrew reiterated, he also said one fish was taken on a Daiwa Sakana lures, and we have seen that also. Small shiny jigs, Colt snipers, Daiwa Sakanas, fishing with 60 pound. Wow, Andrew, so happy for you, so happy you had such a great day on board the San Diego. It was absolutely mind-boggling. Also, Sea Watch limits a bluefin tuna. Another boat leaves in the morning, comes back later that day with seven yellowfin tuna. The Apollo was on an overnight trip out of Sea Forest Sport Fishing. A lot of good friends on that rig. Limits a bluefin, 65 yellowfin tuna. Man, is that great. And as I described to you in the beginning, there's a wall of YFT headed in this direction. There's more on the way. Liberty limits a bluefin tuna on a two-day trip. Grande limits on bluefin tuna, six yellowfin. A boat leaves in the morning, comes back the very same day. Our great friend Joe Martinez was on board the Royal Star for a three-day trip. And Joe said, really great fishing on that trip. They ended up with 109 bluefin tuna and 11 yellowfin tuna. Nighttime fishing last night, hit and miss. Some guys got them some guys miss i guess that's the way it is in the daytime also some guys with really great fishing and some guys just kind of picked at it but overall it's really great right now and the weather has really come around it's really beautiful weather a lack of wind and no seas at all to deal with it is just perfect about a 300 to 400 gram jig at night seems to be working best there's fish to over 200 pounds being taken. I wouldn't fish with anything less than 130 pounds. That is the key to your success. And, you know, if you go back and listen to our live show last night, there is a wealth of information on how to fish this tuna and all the current bites and the tackle you'll need because last night was Tackle Shop Confessions with Sam De La Torre. You would be wise to go back and listen to that. Remember, you want to try to stay as vertical as you can when you're fishing at night dropping your jig down to the appropriate depth. Once again, if the captain says drop 350 feet, you want to be dropping to 400. And if you see your line out, there's too much scope, whatever you have off your reel, that's not how deep you are. You're not that deep. You have to get down to the pescado. So keep that in mind. Some really nice nighttime fishing going on for several guys, and it simply can't get much better than that. You saw in the lead-in, my good friend Ricky Carbajal. And, of course, he's got the El Patron down there at 22nd Street Landing. Great boat. Great catch for Ricky on board the Apollo. It's really biting at night for some. Every night is different. The bigger fish seem to be out towards San Clemente Island between Catalina and Clemente. There's still fish down below uh, in Mexico. There's a stretch of bluefin that's really enormous and very impressive right now and there's that mix of fish andrew pointed out that on the san diego mostly 20 to 40 pounders but you have some bigger grade fish running around so if you have a two-speed reel bring it you're definitely going to want to have it and i don't care really if you're fishing overnight out of san pedro or you're fishing out of san diego heavy gear is necessary because we are starting to see this blue vein tuna in so many different places down south of the border in Ensenada they are catching blue fin tuna down that neck of the woods also a lot of guys catching them by trolling mad mac lures that has been probably the best way to do it but they see them everywhere and more of that yellow fin pushing into places like black fin sport fishing and a variety of other guys we also saw Sammy Sousa Ray out of the downtown Ensenada area near the Mercado Negro, the black market where they sell fish down there in Ensenada. And he had tremendous bottom fishing. So that's still going on. And there's yellows zooming around to the Santos Island and Punta Banda, even off University Point, down south of the border, about 80, 90 miles below the border, not quite 70 miles, I should say. Ensenada, it has been really, really good fishing. They also have Barracuda, Bass, Bonita, some pretty good fishing down there. Tuna, just like everywhere else. One day you get them, one day you go. But 
overall. So really great fishing going on down there south of the border for Nuestros Amigos down in that neck of the woods. All right, let's get you up here and talk a little bit about our local islands. We go to San Clemente Island, and we have to talk about the wonderful time that they had on the Fury the other day. Great trip for the Dana Wharf Lady Anglers as they put the wood to the bluefin. They ended up with three bluefin. Then they went in to uh, San Clemente Island. Captain Marcus took them in there. And they had yellowtail and calico bass and sheep's head and loads of smiles and fun. It was really great to see that. Dana Wharf Lady Anglers, congratulations on another great outing and adventure out on the water. San Clemente Island, as we noted to you, there's a mix of yellows and sheep's head and whitefish and calico bass there now. The yellows anywhere from 5 to 15 pounds, some bigger than that. Most of those fish are on a fly line bait. Pretty darn good fishing going on at SCI right now. The pursuit hit Catalina Island with a mess of other boats yesterday. They picked at the calico bass. They had some fun with that. Mendeliano was on there, and you can see by the expression on his face, he was stoked to catch that calico. There's Bonita, Barracuda, and there's Yellowtail there also. It's been slower going on the YTs here lately, but that should kick into gear, especially with this absolutely gorgeous weather. Hopefully that's going to go here. Native Sun over there and several other boats with similar types of scores. All right, when we start to talk the coastal region, we've got to talk Barracuda, one of my favorite fish to catch, and they are delicious to eat if properly taken care of. And it was a huge day here in the L.A. Orange County area just outside Horseshoe Kelp. If you're not familiar with that, right outside of San Pedro and kind of Long Beach area, there are big schools of Barracuda. And so far this year, they did not move in here and they move right out there hanging out. And there's plenty of anchovy around to keep them here. Talking to Pat Whitaker on the Manana, the bait boat that will be at Catalina. Pat says, this is a throwback to when I was a kid. I haven't seen anchovy like this. And of course, that is a great food source for Barracuda. It's the kind of thing that can hold them here for a prolonged period of time. What a trip on the Enterprise. 116 on the Barracuda. 200 Barracuda on board the Monte Carlo yesterday day afternoon. And Sam De La Torre and the guys from Island Fishing Tackle wishing you the best of luck this morning. Hoping you get the guard because they're on the Monte Carlo with a big crowd. It should be a lot of fun. I wish I could have been there. Gary Bullard with a nice big gar on the city of Long Beach. He said it was really outstanding fishing. And on board the Victory, they put the wood to him with over 250 barracuda. Tremendous fishing going on. And, of course, surface iron is the way you want to take these barracuda. You can catch them on bait, but it's just a pain in the neck. Go to the iron, something like a Taddy C. I like a single hook because you can get them off, the barracuda that is with great ease and really fun fishing going on. You want to vary your retrieve, but in most cases, Barracuda like kind of that medium retrieve, not too fast, definitely not too slow. When you get a bite, you set the hook by turning the handle of the reel. You don't rear back on the rod to set the hook. You just turn the handle, dig in, grind hard. And when you have them, then you can lift the rod up and fight them and have some fun. Really tremendous Barracuda fishing going on right now. I'm so glad and happy to see that going on. Now elsewhere, you know, further down south, uh, you're seeing guys that are having to rely on the sculpin still and the rockfish. It's a weird year, you know. We have this cold water and that's when you see sculpin and rockfish and kind of things delayed. And everything is behind right now. Thresher sharks really biting well right now. That's normally something that happens a few months ago. Barracuda arrival here in July, that's Something that in a normal year we would see earlier also. Albacore, uh, I had to work it in. They're just late. They're still coming in here. Don't worry about it. Don't panic. Oh, I needed that one. And uh, so it's really an incredibly interesting year with the cold water species still around. We're starting to warm up a little bit. And you have yellowfin and even some Dorado the other day out of San Diego, even in this cool water. That suggests to me that when this El Nino takes hold, it's going to be insane. There's going to be Dorado, Yellowfin, Tuna, who knows what else up here in this neck of the woods. Private boaters also getting in on some of that Barracuda action. Rodney and Kenji, Sakamoto, a couple of great 
Friedman Adventures family members were out. They not only caught barracuda, but they had all kinds of other species, sand bass, calico bass, sculpin. It was really great to see those two guys having so much fun. Up in the Channel Islands, I'm suspecting that we'll see some more big sea bass hits. But for the time being, it's been a little bit slower on that. But their weather and good water starting to push in there. Look out. It's going to get good. Aloha Spirit, 8 halibut, 40 barracuda. Nothing wrong with that. The Mirage, who had nearly 80 white sea bass not that long ago on a trip. They had great rock fishing in four lingcots, Santa Barbara, the Coral Sea. Up there with 12 lingcots, their jackpot ling went 25 pounds. An absolutely gorgeous fish, no question about that. So we've got a lot going on on an absolutely pristine and gorgeous day here in Surfside, California. That bluefin tuna about yesterday was tremendous and more yellowfin continue to push in here. In the surf, we continue to see barred perch late for that. Normally our water is too warm and those barred perch are out here, but it's cool enough to keep them here and some yellowfin croaker and halibut starting to get into the mix from San Diego all the way up into the Channel Island area. You find cooler water, you find those barred perch, and we're starting to see that yellowfin croaker and a little bit more corvina. Late, again, everything seems to be late, but definitely headed in the right direction. Don't forget to sign up for that Horizon trip if you haven't done so already, August the 15th day and a half trip out of San Diego. you got to contact Captain Bill. And of course, I'll be watching everything for you here today and updating you with our shorts and so much more. Great show last night. Tackle Shop Confessions. Make sure you go back and check it out. You'll love Sam De La Torre. He's a great guy and a fountain of information. And he's out there catching Barracuda right now on the Monte Carlo. At least that is my hope. And of course, to all of you who've been out and had such great adventures and share them with the Friedman Adventures family, I deeply appreciate that. Don't forget, leave a comment down below. We love to hear from you. It means a lot to us. Hit that like button. Share these. Don't forget, we're on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts. And thanks to the huge numbers you've been providing us with. All right. Have a great day, my friends. Always good to start my time out with you. And I hope to see you really, really soon.